So Nintendo just gave us the final trailer for the Mario movie, and it's drummed up so much hype. I mean, I'm excited. A lot of fans share the same sentiment, obviously. I mean, it's the Mario movie. It's coming out in a month. With all the excitement, though, there wasn't a whole lot shown here. We did get little tidbits of information, but, I mean, Nintendo is being very secretive of what they're actually showing. Obviously, they don't want to spoil the movie. But that being said, there's one little thing at the very beginning of this final trailer and that could possibly be setting up a surprise cameo from a very beloved character of the franchise, or it could even set up a sequel. Either way, we're going to be diving into it today. So, and by the way, if you haven't yet, please hit that like button and subscribe. YouTube's algorithm loves that. Anyway, let's get on with this. So first, we start off by seeing Luigi being captured. He's dangling, obviously, with a bunch of other characters. You see a lot of Bowser enemies. We also see the penguins, whose kingdom was massacred by Bowser in the first trailer. But we also get a little character, a new little character, a little baby Luma, who's... <laughs> The, for lack of better words, is a little sadist. He's uh, He says some really dark things, and clearly he's going crazy. He must have been locked up for a long time. With this little Luma character here, it's clear to me that with the Luma here, no Luma's gonna be going without Rosalina. So, could we possibly be seeing Rosalina in this? Maybe, I don't know. Because, I mean, there's already so many characters here. So, obviously, throwing another character in the mix wouldn't make a lot of sense. But even if she has just a little cameo, just a small cameo, it could even just be a stinger at the end credits, like Marvel does, setting up a potential sequel, which you know is going to happen. You, you just know is going to happen. If we take this and the final part of the first trailer the teaser trailer that they originally gave us, it kind of pieces together Luigi's potential story arc throughout this film. And this is this is just my personal thought on what it is, so it may or may not happen, just take it with a grain of salt. But I think from what we see, obviously Mario and Luigi are together in New York, but somehow they get sucked into a portal that takes them to the Mushroom Kingdom. But we see Mario and Luigi both split up, where Mario goes to the Mushroom Kingdom and Luigi clearly goes to Bowser's Kingdom. So Luigi is obviously captured by Bowser, and that's when Bowser goes to invade the Penguin Kingdom. And then clearly we see Luigi locked up with the penguins and this crazy Luma. And I'm assuming that between the crazy Luma and the penguins will help Luigi escape. Because we see him at the very end, if you remember, at the very end of the first trailer, we see Luigi running away. So clearly he's escaped somehow. And he's running away from dry bones. It's very exciting. But just the presence of this Luma just kind of shows that maybe they'll be teasing Rosalina. Maybe that maybe we'll get Rosalina in this film. Take that as you will. But as we continue on, there is a lot more shown to us, including we get this this shot of what looks like bob -omb Battlefield. It's clearly inspired by bob -omb Battlefield. We have the iconic cannon, and then the little boardwalk going up, and then the little floating aisle where, you know, you would go up and get the star. And then we obviously get what is the Sand Kingdom from Super Mario Odyssey, where Toast Arena is, with the upside-down pyramids. I mean, this is clearly that. And then really it's just kind of action scenes. We get the we get Mario and Donkey Kong teaming up with a pretty awesome sequence where Donkey Kong becomes Fire Donkey Kong, which is something we've never seen before because Donkey Kong's always been his own character. He's never actually been in the Mario games except from the very early ones before the power-ups were introduced. And then Mario consumes the Super Mushroom, which makes him marginally bigger, just or just as big as Donkey Kong. So, and you see them just wrecking, wrecking things, and doing a cool, cool 2D section where Mario is clearing out the bottom, and Donkey Kong is up top, just mowing down enemies. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. I have to be honest. 
If you look closely, you can see that this might be a final sequence when Bowser is invading the Mushroom Kingdom because you can clearly see the ball and chain that was connected to his uh, cruiser or whatever. The Bowser Kingdom cruiser, whatever that thing is. Anyway, you see that. So clearly this is the invasion of the Mushroom Kingdom, which I'm assuming is the third act, the final act. And then we get this interesting sequence it's clearly in some kind of industrial complex where they're building carts and you see all the Kongs gearing up their carts, getting ready to go. So they must be going somewhere. I don't know. I'm assuming, I'm assuming this is when Bowser begins his invasion. So they're going back to the Mushroom Kingdom. But you, then you see this little cart builder that looks very interesting. You see this little cart builder thing and it's clearly got icons inspired by Mario Kart 8 Deluxe in choosing the carts, the wheels, and the gliders. And then it's pretty much just a Mario Kart sequence, which you see all the enemies pursuing all of Mario and the Kongs. It's gonna be some big long action sequences. I mean, so Mario gets his cart blown up. So he gets launched off and he has to battle all these other Koopas for their carts. He stomps on one and, you know, ends it. Or, he stomps on one and, you know, and... Anyway, um, I don't even know what, why that's relevant. Anyway, it's, it's a big, long action sequence. It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be filled with Mario doing crazy stunts involving stomping on Koopas and commandeering carts. It's gonna be pretty epic, honestly. And then we get, the, obviously it's based on the Rainbow Road, which I actually think is kind of like inside of Warp Pipe, because it's kind of, it's very weird, like it's kind of gray out. It's gotta be some kind of highway transportation system to go between kingdoms, similar to the ones we see with the branches from when you're going through, when Mario goes through a Warp Pipe. So it, maybe that's for carts, something like that. Maybe that's what the Rainbow Road is. I don't know. And then that's really when it ends. But, and I will say one thing, we do see more of this blue shelled captain, which to me implies that this character is far more important than he seems. Maybe he's like the general of the army, one of the underlings, clearly one of the underlings, but a major part of Bowser's forces. So clearly he's not going to be a pushover like the other Koopas and Goombas are. Oh, and by the way, we do get this sequence where Bowser and Kamek are gearing up for the invasion, getting a roll call on all of his troops, where he calls the Koopas, and then we finally get to see the Goombas. And then there's this funny part where Bowser forgets the Spiny's names, and they just look all sad. So... And then I will add one more thing before I close out here. In an interview, Jack Black actually kind of spoiled the beginning of the movie. So what Jack Black said is the very first scene we will be getting is the little Mario Brothers commercial that was released as one of the promotional materials. So clearly this isn't just like some kind of funny little thing. It's actually going to be a scene in the movie, probably just establishing what the Mario Brothers does. And I mean, it makes sense. Anyway, that is what the final trailer showed us for the most part. Um, I mean, it is exciting. There wasn't a lot shown, but the Luma and the potential of Rosalina maybe getting a cameo is exciting. So, uh, but I wanna hear your guys' thoughts on this. So hit me up in the comments below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.